The icons on the toolbar located at the top of the window are pretty self-explanatory. To add pages, to the project click Add Pages. A window will pop up and offer you the options of different slides that can be added. To the right of that icon, there are three icons about how the document is viewed. Choose the orientation of the page by clicking on the horizontal or vertical pages. This is the way that the slide will be seen on the iPad. You can also change how you are viewing the window with different options when you click View. The next five icons help you design the actual page. To create text on the page, click the text box and click on the slide. A text box will be formed in the middle of the slide for you to move around. By clicking Shapes, you can create a design on the page. These will be solid colored shapes like a heart or a rectangle. Click Shapes and a menu will appear with a list of shapes to choose from. Pick one, click on it, then use your mouse to create a shape on the slide by clicking anywhere on the slide and dragging the mouse to fluctuate its size. By clicking Table, you will be offered a pop-up to put the dimensions of your table. Then you can click and drag, like the shapes, to create the size. Click anywhere on the inside of the table to input the information. Like shapes, Charts offers you an array of charts to choose from to best portray your information. A pop-up window will appear for you to input the data used in the chart. Widgets are interactive media boxes that can be put into the publication. For example, click Photo Gallery. It will appear on your slide for you to place and resize. Then drag photos on top of it. To preview what you have created, you must connect an iPad to the computer and click the Preview button. When you are finished, click Publish to help publish your final product. The Inspector is the most helpful tool for editing how text or a widget looks. Click Inspector and a box will slide out on the right side of the window. Each of the headings correlate with text or media on the page. Click one of your boxes to edit, etc. with Inspector. Media shows you all the media in your Mac libraries from iPhoto, iMovie, or Photo Booth. These can be selected and dragged onto the slide. The Colors and Fonts buttons are easy to use. Click on the shape or text you want to change. Then click Colors or Fonts and make the specifications you would like. Make sure your text is highlighted. Lastly, to customize the toolbar with buttons you use often, choose View and then Customize Toolbar. From there, you will be able to select which of the editors you would like to see.